Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't ever miss an upload from me. Hello guys, I hope that you guys are doing well and having an amazing day today. So welcome back to another cleaning motivational video. Today's video is an all day clean with me. I will be cleaning the whole house, first starting in the master bedroom and then moving on to the kitchen, which is a complete disaster. Today's video will give you tons of cleaning motivation. So get ready to clean with me. And if you enjoy satisfying cleaning videos and are not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. I will love and appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get cleaning. So I will be doing laundry throughout the video. So right now I am just sorting the clothes. Since we co-sleep, it's technically sharing the bedroom with the kids, so with that comes toys. The kids do like to come in here sometimes to play, especially if we are in the room, they like to be near us. So now I'm just refolding my home clothes, making sure everything is folded neatly. And while I'm doing that, I would like to shout out a YouTube channel, Ruthie's Vlog World. She is a subscriber of mine and she has her very own YouTube channel, so go ahead and check her out. Now I'm doing the Conmary folding method, which allows me to see everything that I have in the drawer without everything being piled up on top of each other. Although I have a decent amount of clothes, I found myself wearing the same thing over and over. Maybe because I don't really go out much, I'm basically in the house all the time. So I like to be comfortable and because of that, I just end up wearing the same thing all the time. So there is a good amount of clothes right now that do not fit me properly. I mean, they fit, but they don't look exactly the same on me the way that they used to look when I was smaller. At some point, I do want to get rid of a lot of older stuff that I have and update my wardrobe. I want to look like I belong in this century. And not only that, I have been working out lately, guys, and I am trying to gain more muscle, so I don't know how the clothes are going to look on me. So I will not rush to buy anything. And besides, I'm cheap, so... The dresser sometimes is like a dump drawer, but it's not a drawer, it's a dresser. Sometimes I feel like any and everything that we have, it goes on top of the dresser. And once it goes on top, it's like, it's there and then we forget about it. I think it's loaded with stuff. And when it's all cleared and everything is put away, it looks so much better. And I honestly need to get better at just putting everything in its place. I am guilty at sometimes I just put it there and I think to myself, okay, I'll just put it away later and later becomes tomorrow. I'm just being honest with you all and sharing my real life mess. On 
on top of the dresser it can get super dusty and even when I'm done finished cleaning it, the next day it gets dusty all over again. I don't know why, but it's just one of those things that I constantly have to keep cleaning. And because the dress is a darker color, you can see it. It is no hiding it. It's right there in your face. So I definitely have to make sure I clean this often. We do have a window right next to it and I like to open it sometimes to let fresh air in. So I don't know, maybe dust is coming in. I'm not sure, but I have to make sure I clean this as often as possible. If I don't, it will look like it just snowed on top of the dresser. Same goes for this mirror. Since it sits on top of the dresser, that as well gets dusty. I don't mind cleaning it. I just think it's a gorgeous piece. And when I got it, I didn't know what to do with it. And then I thought, okay, why not put it on top of my dresser and put all my perfumes on it? Maybe at some point I'll do something else with it. But in the meantime, it just holds all my perfumes. So I'm just chatting with the kid's dad while cleaning. While he's away, I'm just trying to get the house back in order. It can get overwhelming and I am not afraid to admit that. Every day is not easy breezy, which I don't think is the case for every single person anyway. Everyone has their moments, some more than others, and that is perfectly fine. On top of everything, I do have to squeeze in workouts. And while I'm doing my workouts, the kids like to join me, which I think it is the cutest thing. Sun is coming up. I have this thing that I don't know if everybody's like that but when I have a brand new baby I don't like to wear perfume or anything that has a perfume scent of course I wear deodorant and stuff like that and as far as lotion I wear something very very light and when I mean light I'm talking about like non scented that is because in the early months I like to do a lot of skin to skin and I don't want the baby to be laying on top of me and I have like a ton of perfume on. I just like my skin to be bare. That way he's smelling my natural scent and not inhaling the perfume. On top of that, I feel like if I have perfume on and he's laying on me, that's gonna get on his face. I don't know, I just have like this weird thing of making sure not to wear any perfume on my skin when the kids are super tiny. After a few months, that's when I decided that for me it's more okay and i go back to my regular routine if you guys are like that or similar or somewhat but not maybe to my extent leave a comment down below i would like to know because i know i'm not the only one that do not like to wear anything scented especially perfume strong smell when you just have like a brand new baby guys i got so excited to start cleaning because i felt like oh my gosh i finally can clean now because my sisters surprised me well one of them surprised me the other one i knew was gonna come already and i know with someone watching the kids it would be so much easier to go ahead and get everything done which honestly i felt kind of guilty because i wanted to just hang out and chill with my sisters but i also know i wanted to just clean this house as well so they took the kids outside to play ride their four-wheelers their scooters and stuff like that while i was able to give the house a refresh I'll get you back up again so the waterproof mattress cover was not yet ready. I had to put it back in the dryer to dry some more. But the pillowcases and the sheets were ready. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm just putting all the pillow protectors and covers on. Before I put the cover, I like to put the protector first just to give it that extra layer. I think this is probably my least thing to do. But having a ton of pillows on the bed, it just makes it look so nice. And that is the reason why I don't mind doing it. I want to say it's probably my least thing to do. So guys, if you don't know yet, I have a separate channel which is strictly cleaning only. It is called Super Speed Cleaning. So if you want that same cleaning motivation and don't have the time to watch a super long video, all videos will be between 8 to 10 minutes long. I will have a link in the description box for you guys to subscribe. I will be posting twice a week over there, Monday and Thursday. So go ahead and subscribe, like, comment, tell a friend, and I will see you there 
on my super speed cleaning channel and thank you so much in advance when i'm changing out the sheets for the bed i like to do the same for the crib as well it's fun for the kids to jump up and down on it and i want to make sure that the fitted sheet stays clean and i don't know what this thing is called but you put it on and then you put the mattress over it it's kind of like a skirt but i'm not sure the exact name for it i didn't have it on i removed it prior but i'm i decided to put it back on it because the kids actually like to go underneath the crib when they're playing hide and go seek and in that skirt just allows them to hide better so I'm just putting it on for them to when they're playing their hiding and go seek and they're hiding underneath the crib so that way they can feel like they're not being seen. So it doesn't necessarily have to be on there. I just like to do it for them. Not only that our bed has a waterproof mattress cover on, I also like to have one for the crib as well. And since we co-sleep, the waterproof mattress cover is the way to go and we use that just in case of any accidents. That way, nothing seeks into the mattress. So before moving on to the kitchen, I am almost done in the bedroom. I am just finishing up the touches. And I did do a little bit of cleaning off camera. I had to attend to the baby and when I walked back in the room, I noticed that the footboard needed some cleaning. So I went ahead and cleaned that. And also I wiped down the closet doors and made the bed. so before i start cleaning this disastrous kitchen that is super messy i'm just opening the window letting some fresh air in the weather's been really nice lately and we have been getting this nice cool breeze so it's always nice to let some natural air in guys i want to step out of my comfort zone and start doing different types of videos and i have tried they don't do as good as my cleaning and because i noticed that my cleaning videos do way better that is the reason i do them more because i figured because they're doing better 
maybe that's what you guys want to see because when I try to do other things they don't do as well so I'm like okay maybe that's not what you guys want to see so let me continue doing more cleaning with that said I do want to open up my horizons and tap into different things as well I'm not going to stray away of course not but at the same time I don't want you guys to be bored just seeing just only cleaning because my channel is not a hundred percent cleaning it's basically mom life in general i have been playing out some content ideas however i would love to know in the comment below what you guys want to see you guys are the one watching so i definitely want your feedback again please let me know in the comment below what you guys want to see from my channel and we can meet somewhere in the middle So right here I am just trying to rearrange the dishes, trying to fit as much as possible and also placing them in a way that I know all the dishes, every piece will get clean perfectly. And when I have a lot to wash, that's when I like to start the dishwasher. If I don't have much to wash, I just go ahead and hand wash them. As far as my nonstick items, I do not like to put them in a dishwasher at all. I just feel like the coating might come off or slowly come off. I do have a few that's dishwasher safe, but for my sanity, I don't like to put them in a dishwasher at all i just hand wash them which i have no problem with because prior to us getting a new dishwasher that works prior to that i basically hand wash every single piece I 
know I can be safe with you. You want me now, I know you do. I know you'll be impatient and I love you for that. You show me how to dare to love. So tell me what you're thinking of. Cause I won't be afraid not holding anything back. Don't know if I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away. I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face. I never knew you could love someone like me. You climb my tower and you set me free. So my mom sent me a little care package and this is what I got in the box. She has sent me other things too, like every time she cooks and someone is coming down, I get food. I got some nail polish remover. I got some nail polish remover. I don't know what that is. Makeup brushes, body scrub. And then it's cool high makeup remover and this cool thing. Exfoliating cubes. So yeah, thanks mommy. I know you're watching, so thank you. I got different hobbies and that's all I need. Some say life is boring, but I disagree. Someday soon, I'm gonna make it, yeah All hard work's gonna be worth it, ooh Everyone who didn't believe it I know the number one question that I get is to do videos with the kids, to show the kids and stuff like that. We have talked about it and I think the only way that it would happen is if he had to go away for an extended amount of time for work. How would I continue doing YouTube? Because when I am recording, he is watching the kids majority of the time. And if he's not available to do so, how am I going to record with the kids around? Hint, that is why you mostly see me clean at night because they're sleeping and they're not basically in my shot. 
<laughs> and there's little to no interruptions. Anyways, I'm bringing this up just to say that that would be the only way that he is comfortable with it because he wants me to continue to do this because I am doing it for myself. I am a stay at home mom and doing YouTube is something that, that I'm doing outside the kids. You know, it just gives me something to do. And of course, as they get older, they'll have that decision to make for themselves and they would definitely understand what social media is, but they're so little to the point where they don't even know what's going on. However, I did say if the kids ever asked me, then I would feel more comfortable doing it because they asked. And if they do, of course, I would explain it to them, what goes behind it and letting them know that it's for everyone to see. It's not nothing private. Yes, majority of my videos are a lot of cleaning, like you're cleaning, what do you mean? but it is a lot that goes behind it and if you do youtube you will know it's not just oh i'm cleaning and that's it it's it's a lot of hours and the editing alone is a lot of hours that's why prior to doing youtube i didn't know this and now doing it oh my gosh hats down to everybody that's doing it because it is a lot of work and i wouldn't change it for anything but it is fulfilling to me and it gives me something to do you know anyways i'm saying all this to say that we have entertainment the idea the thought of it but um yeah right now it's just us talking about it I miss you, miss you Take you off, I came, your weight is strong Cannot keep it low-key Got me drugged, your pheromones hit the roof Auto, your taste It's really a bad reception out there Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? I've lost you so in the middle of cleaning, I pause to get food ready for the kids. Just something quick and simple. My sister is still outside with them, entertaining them. And I know they're about to come in real soon. So I just wanted to get this done for them. That way when they come in, they could just start eating. They will have their dinner a little later, which will be leftover dinner from yesterday. I ended up making a good amount of it, so we have some more left. So yeah, there's just everything mom life and then some. Zero sum game that I will lose. There's no sipping past it. Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless. Can't get enough. I've lost you. But I need you. 
So while editing this video and saw the pantry door, it just reminded me that I have a huge DIY pantry makeover video that I am planning on. I do not have everything yet and I want to make sure I have everything before I do it. I'm still in the middle of buying stages, buying baskets, organizers and stuff like that. And of course I cannot just buy any random baskets. It has to be like the perfect size for what we have. So I am like super excited for that. It is my first DIY project and I am so pumped. I am more excited about how it's going to look after. It's gonna look so much better and I cannot wait until I have everything to go ahead and start this. Of of course I'm gonna film it for you guys and I hope you guys watch it and love it and let me know what you think about it and can we say how gorgeous the windows and glass door is it just makes the kitchen look so much bigger and when the kids are out in the patio playing and I'm in the kitchen I can just easily just turn my head and look to see what they're doing instead of having like this wall blocking me. And with the new kitchen, we definitely want to have that same feeling. We can easily see them with ease. Another thing that I noticed while editing the video is my underwear appears a lot, it shows. <laughs> and you mostly see it when I'm bending down a lot. I just wanted to point that out in case if anyone is like, oh my gosh, your underwear is showing. Okay, we're 
mind Go back to that moment in time When you say you want me for life Was it all a lie? I gave my all to deserve ya Begging on my knees just to show ya You're the one I want and I love ya No, 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 no lie I miss your touch From your hands and your body It hurts so much To think of you with someone else can't get enough when you're sweet talking to me now i'm talking sweet all by myself put your arms around me put your faith in me put your love on me what you need from me need your love on me put your love on me i'm gonna do everything for you i don't want anyone but you put your arms around me put your faith in me put your love
So by this time, my sister had already put the kids down for bed and two of them woke up, so it was time for me to take over. So I had to completely stop what I was doing and I'll just go ahead and finish the rest of it tomorrow morning. And the little bit I have left is basically to wipe down everything and also to mop. I thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch if you have reached to the end thank you so much I appreciate it and if you are watching and not yet subscribed please go ahead and subscribe to my channel I would love and appreciate it thank you all again for watching until next time I'll see you in the next video bye Oh, 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 oh,